So a little bit about us. We are part of Versus and we are specialized in providing online sessions with respect to SQL tuning and Oracle performance improvement areas. We have an overall of 7 plus years of experience in IT industry with respect to Oracle database and SQL performance tuning. The audience for whom this course will be beneficial are SQL developers, Oracle database administrators, PLSQL developers and other DBAs. So if you are from any of these categories, you are going to get benefited from this course. The SQL tuning area that we'll be covering throughout this entire course is by creating appropriate indexes and by making sure that Oracle actually uses the desired indexes. There are other areas like normalization that is eliminating redundant data, query rewrite and by creating partitions. We won't be covering it in this course. However, you will find plenty of materials for the same over the net. In order to better explain the concepts, I will be using the classic example of employees and departments table, which is present in the default HR schema throughout this course. In the employees table, employee ID is the primary key, which means it has as many distinct values as the number of rows in the employees table. Similarly, department ID is the primary key in the departments table. Also, department ID is a foreign key in the employees table and both of these tables will be joined using the department ID as the join condition. There are other columns in the employees table like first name, last name, etc. And also in the departments table, we have department name, manager ID, etc. which are the non-primary key columns. These are the two terms which we will be frequently using. That is nothing but number of distinct values in a column and the number of occurrences for a specific row value. Now, if we understand these two terms, 80% of the query tuning can be evaluated at this stage itself. So let's explore more on these two terms. The first term states that the number of distinct values in a column should be high. This means that you should be looking for such a column in the where part of the clause, which will qualify for less number of rows. That is, the number of distinct values for such a column should be very high. For example, in the employees table, employee ID is the primary key. So if I fire a query say select star from employees where employee ID is equal to 100, it is going to qualify for only one row and hence the query will execute quickly. Similarly, let's assume the gender column in the employees table which has only two distinct values, male and female. And now if I fire a query say select star from employees where gender is equal to M, it will qualify for almost 50% of the rows and hence will take time to execute. So the rough estimate says that we should be starting with such a column in the where part of the clause which has high number of distinct values. The second term states that the number of occurrences for a specific row value should be very less. This means that you should be looking for such a column in the where part of the clause which will qualify for less number of rows or whose occurrence for a specific values are less in the column. Now this term is almost similar to the about term with a slight difference. Let's see that with an example. In the employees table, employee ID is the primary key and if I fire a query say select star from employees where employee ID is equal to 100, it is going to qualify for only one row, which means that employee ID is equal to 100 has only one occurrence. Now let's assume an employees table with 100 rows having 99 female and one male for the gender column. And now if I fire a query, say select star from employees where gender is equal to M, it is again going to qualify for one row only as it occurs only once and hence the query executes quickly. This certainly contradicts the about term and we can use this only when we are aware of the data distribution of the column values. To be more certain, you can always fire select count of star from table for a specific column value in the where part of the clause to see which column qualifies for less number of rows and whichever column qualifies for the least that is the starting point. 